on today's news. MCM Comic Con is coming up and there is a rumor of another carbonized action figure. Can you guess who it is? Thanks to the back of the Disney toy box, there is another one that has been revealed. We'll show some video about that. New trailer for The Rise of Skywalker will be in the programming for Monday Night Football in the US, Tuesday morning here. We'll talk more about that. And IG-11, the figure in the Black Series that will be in Wave 23, has been spotted in Canada's Toys R Us already. <laughs> All this and more coming up. Welcome everybody to YouTube, my television toy showcase channel and behind me you can see my new set I've changed things around Ooh, we got some of the I'm trying to keep the most recent black series figure and also the up-to-date current vintage collection that has come out quick note my affiliate Aussie sci-fi collectibles has the next wave coming soon of the vintage collection awesome stuff First bit of news I want to share with you today it comes from one of my subscribers, DJRitchie.com, told us that at MCM Comic Con there may appear to be a rumor about another carbonized figure. Now I said, who might it be? Who might this be? The thing I've noticed about the carbonized figures is chuck them up on the screen: Mandalorian, Sith Jet Trooper, Sith Trooper, and the second sister. They're all wearing helmets. There's no human faces. Faces, if there is, they're underneath the helmets. They're all helmeted. Who's the other helmeted figure that we have that is not carbonized? It is Kylo Ren. So number 90, Kylo Ren in the Black Series, may be getting a carbonized job. As we know, the Sith Jet Trooper is in the next wave, the, the standard version. You can already get the carbonized version at Walmart's in the US. It's in the white pearlescent box, very lovely. Perhaps the Kylo Ren that's out now, we'll wait till that series comes out and they'll drop the carbonized version. If it is, if this rumor is true, what color is the box? Is it going to be purple? Green? Another version of red? Because we've already got the candy apple red, maybe we've got like a really dark red, perhaps going with the red lines in the helmet that repaired it, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. This is interesting. I'm, I'm interested in this. I want to know what this looks like. I'm curious to think that there's another one on the way. They did say at Hasbro's panel at New York Comic Con, if this is a success, if, if the line is a success, it's going to continue. So perhaps with Kylo Ren, some of you want more of these, so they're going to keep on bringing them out. It's just printing money if everyone's going to chase after them. I have zero out of four of the carbonized so far, so going good. They're not so easy to find in this country at all. My affiliate has a couple, I think, coming soon, so keep checking the website as well. Moving on to the Rise of Skywalker trailer. Check up this little image here. This is from, I think, a manager of... John Boyega and show that yeah it's going to drop on Monday Night Football yada 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 if it's true fantastic that means if this game is played on Monday night in the US you're looking at the trailer around about 9 o'clock 9 30 at night probably around half time uh, in this country it will be around 11 30 in the morning I believe in Australian Eastern Standard Time keep an eye out for it don't know if it's going to be a two minute trailer three minute trailer one minute trailer, we don't know, but it's going to be longer than that teaser. Awesome stuff. Uh, Disney Toy Box. We showed in the last video some of the figures, Rey, Kylo Ren, and the droids with the C-3PO and R2-D2. Super Sorrel. He picked them up from, I'm guessing, online Disney store in the UK. Showed them on a video. Let's have a look, and he will reveal for you who's coming soon. Hey guys, me host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's a big box of stuff. Alright guys, item number one. 
Dun 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 it is the Sith Trooper and there is something on the back of this packaging guys that I'm going to show you that's going to get you all excited. Now guys, I was saying to you there is a mystery figure coming soon and it is on the back of the box and it is very exciting because he's my favourite Lord of the Sith. Oh yes, you heard it here at Super Sorrel. The new figure will be Darth Maul. <laughs> Thank you, Super Zorol. That's right, Darth Maul. Now, he said in the video also he's going to compare the two between the uh, Galaxy of Adventures and the Toy Box, see what they look like. They're very similar and in that style of animation. It's marketed at kids, so don't get huffy, you guys. We know what we collect as collectors, but yes, if you do collect these as well, awesome, Darth Maul. Darth Maul. <laughs> um, I talked about last time the two-pack Black Series, Chewie and C-3PO, and I showed some glam images. There was no box image, and I just showed an image that was loose, taken at the press release thing by someone who I cannot remember to credit. But look at this, nice and fresh and new. I think this one came from the Star Wars The Black Series, run by Matt. Great guy, he does a... Occasionally, he's on Fly Guys podcast, but it's not a podcast, they show it in the video. If you watch Fly Guys videos, you'll see Matt. Matt runs that page. Very cool. Thank you, Matt. Brilliant. I like the fact that it's designed that sort of way, so you can still keep it in the box and you don't have to unpack it. You've got all the bits and pieces. If you, like me, keep it in, in the box, that's going to display well. Lovely. For all my UK fans, a lot of you get in my comment section and say, we've got nothing, got nothing, got nothing, and, I, and I'm, I'm so sad for you guys. I'm like, I thought this Triple Force Friday would give you that injection of, look at all this new stuff. I see photos that you guys have taken on Instagram. Some of you have sent me stuff via the stores in the UK, and you get new Star Wars stuff, but you don't get Black Series or Vintage. It's like, that's the stuff you actually want, and then you got plush toys and lightsabers, and stuff that you don't really want to collect, and the stuff you do want to collect, you have to go online to find them at Star Action Figures or In Demand Toys, you know? Frustrating for you guys, but I have this picture from Eggman Studios. This is the restock of the Black Series at Forbidden Planet. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I do see various prices for when the exclusives as well. They're a little bit higher. It's good to see you getting figures anyway. So I hope you guys get more figures. I mean, Australia, we starved for figures. We had nothing from... We had Solo, and we had that stuff. And we had nothing until they dropped a few archive figures. Nothing, nothing, nothing until Force Friday. That's a long time. That's a long time. So hopefully Australia keeps stocking. I don't want them to go, right, you've got that wave there, wave 22, and that's all they give us. And if we sell out, they'll continue wave 22. Oh, here's another wave 22. Here's another wave 22. Slow down and go on to wave 23. You're on to... <laughs> we, we want to transition on. We don't want to be given the same things, otherwise you end up with so many peg warmers. They don't move off the shelf. They go on clearance. No one even wants them then because I've already got two. I've already got three. Uh, uh, distribution. All right, Canada. Oh, Canada. You guys are always so lucky because you still have a Toys R Us. You'll get figures that the rest of the world is very envious of. And in particular, this one, IG-11 from The Mandalorian. This isn't supposed to come out till like December, but here it is in your store. Don't know the actual location. It just says Toys R Us Canada. The person who posted this is at It's Beam, <laughs> if, you can, if that's pr correctly pronounced. Very cool, not the greatest image in the world, but it's there. Also, The Purge Trooper at EB Games in Canada. This is from Mitch Bibby, 1980s. I've been following him for a while and he, has the price at $34.99 Canadian, which $34.99 Canadian. This Purge Trooper is available in this country in December through Zing at $58. And I showed that before, and it's like, oh my god, I don't know why it's so much. There's no game pack in, there's nothing with this, there's just a figure. Why they put $58? Maybe they had to pay extra for it. I've got no clue whatsoever. Wow, okay, let's wrap up today with. DIY SW dioramas. My mate has some finally finished his cantina. Brilliant stuff. 
We've got a couple of videos to show you. I'm going to play a little bit of music and you can enjoy what it looks like. Brilliant. So It's so packed full of figures too. Check this out. Wasn't that fantastic? Thank you very much for DIY SW Dioramas. Your name is so damn long sometimes. Um, I appreciate he just hit 700 subscribers or followers on Instagram, so congratulations. And that's it today. Thank you very much. My affiliate is Aussie Sci Fi Collectibles for all your Star Wars, Marvel, DC, TV movies, WWE, and anything sci fi related. Check him out today. Link in the description down below. Don't forget to follow him on Facebook as well, so you know the new stuff that's coming. Excellent stuff. I've got some merch. Chuck up my shirts. These are available in my Redbubble store. Buying from the Redbubble store helps out this channel, so thank you very much, and buy yourself something nice. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at usualmike30, or on Instagram at usualmiketelevision. If you'd like to send some fan mail, I've moved the thing. It's over here now at P.O. Box 957, Lismore, New South Wales, 2480 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best. Ooh.